Have you ever pondered the relevance of ancient stories to our modern world, specifically the story of the Tower of Babel? This tale, steeped in history and etched in the annals of human civilization, serves as a timeless narrative that resonates profoundly in our contemporary lives. A story of ambition, unity, and divine intervention the Tower of Babel, chronicled in Genesis 11, 1, 9, stands as a testament to the human spirit, but also as a cautionary tale about the pitfalls of pride and misplaced priorities. It beckons us to reflect on our actions, our motivations, and our relationship with the divine. It prompts us to ask ourselves, are we building our own Towers of Babel in our quest for personal glory? Are we forgetting the essence of humility and reverence for our Creator? Join us on this journey as we delve into the story of the Tower of Babel and unravel its lessons for life. The Tower of Babel story is a fascinating narrative found in the book of Genesis. It unfolds in a time when the earth was of one language and one speech. The people, descendants of Noah, had a shared vision, a common goal, to construct a city with a tower that could reach the heavens. Among these people was a man named Nimrod. Known as a mighty hunter before Jehovah, his reputation extended beyond his hunting skills. Genesis describes him as a mighty hunter in opposition to Jehovah, hinting at a spirit of rebellion. Under Nimrod's influence the collective ambition to build a city and a tower was born, a symbol of their hunger for greatness, a testament to their independence from God. Their unity was astonishing. People from all walks of life working shoulder to shoulder driven by a shared ambition, Day after day, tirelessly they toiled, their hands shaping bricks, their sweat mixing with the mortar. But their unity was not founded on reverence for God but rather on their own selfish ambitions. Their tower a testament not to God's glory, but to their own. Watching from above God saw their pride, their arrogance. He saw their unity, not as a testament of love for each other or for Him, but as a vehicle for their own self-aggrandizement. He saw their potential for further rebellion, and so, he decided to intervene. In a divine act of intervention, God confused their language. No longer could they understand each other. The once unified people now divided by a barrier of comprehension, the tower their symbol of unity, now stood as a monument of their division. Confusion reigned where unity once thrived. Their shared ambition, their common goal, was now a source of discord and misunderstanding. Unable to communicate, Unable to cooperate, the construction of the city and the tower came to a grinding halt. The people once unified in their ambition now found themselves divided by language, scattered across the earth, leaving their grand project unfinished. The tower they had hoped would reach the heavens, now stood as a stark reminder of their arrogance, their pride. A monument not to their greatness but to their folly. Their desire for independence from God had led them not to greatness but to division and dispersion. And so, the ambitious plans of the people were thwarted, and they were scattered across the earth with different languages. The Tower of Babel stands as a timeless reminder, a cautionary tale of the consequences of misplaced priorities, of the dangers of pride and self-centeredness. It serves as a testament to the importance of humility, unity, and reverence for God in all aspects of life. The story of Babel is rich in life lessons, especially for families and parents. It's a tale that underscores the importance of unity, humility, and reverence for God within the family unit. Reflect for a moment on the people of Babel, united in their ambitious quest to construct a tower reaching the heavens. They displayed an uncanny level of cooperation and determination. Yet, their unity was rooted in their own pride and selfish ambition, not in a shared respect for their Creator. Now let's bring that lesson home. Imagine a family, much like a team of builders. Each member plays a crucial role, contributing their unique strengths and talents to the collective effort. This unity is beautiful and essential for the family to function harmoniously. However, the foundation of this unity makes all the difference. If a family's unity is rooted in selfish desires and pride, much like the people of Babel, it can lead to conflict and disarray. On the other hand, unity built on shared values, mutual respect, and reverence for God provides a sturdy foundation for strong familial bonds. Parents in particular, have a pivotal role to play here. As the primary influencers within the family, they have the responsibility to nurture this unity. They can do so by teaching their children the importance of humility and the value of teamwork. By instilling these values, parents can ensure their children grow up understanding that cooperation, not competition, is the key to success. Furthermore, parents can guide their children towards a reverence for God, 
helping them understand that there's a higher power at work. This understanding can foster a sense of humility and gratitude, preventing the rise of prideful and self-centered attitudes. So, what's the takeaway here? It's simple. In families, unity is paramount. But the foundation of this unity is equally important. It should be built on shared values, respect for each other, and reverence for God. So, in families, unity should be built on shared values and respect, mirroring lessons from the Tower of Babel. Just as the Tower of Babel story has lessons for families, it also holds insights for the workplace. In the narrative of the Tower of Babel, the people's ambition led them to strive for a project of unprecedented proportions. Their determination was remarkable, but it was fueled by misplaced priorities and a disregard for their creator. This tale serves as a powerful metaphor for the modern workplace, cautioning us about the dangers of unchecked ambition and the pursuit of personal glory at the expense of others. Imagine a workplace where everyone is solely focused on their individual success, disregarding the well-being of their colleagues or the ethical conduct required in their profession. Such a scenario may lead to short-term gains, just like the people of Babel initially made progress on their tower. But in the long run, this self-centered approach can lead to discord, mistrust, and a toxic work environment, causing the metaphorical tower of the organization to crumble. On the other hand, consider a workplace where collaboration, integrity, and ethical conduct are valued above all else. Here, each individual's success is seen as a part of the collective success. Just as a well-built tower requires each brick to be properly aligned and supported, a successful organization relies on the contributions of each of its members. By prioritizing teamwork over individual glory, such a workplace fosters an environment of mutual respect and cooperation, leading to sustainable growth and success. Moreover, the story of Babel also underscores the importance of humility in professional pursuits. It reminds us that no matter how talented or ambitious we may be, we must always remain grounded and remember our ethical responsibilities. It is through humility that we can truly respect our colleagues, understand their perspectives, and work together towards common goals. Thus, the story of Babel serves as a timeless reminder of the importance of ethical conduct and collaboration in the workplace. It teaches us that unchecked ambition can lead to disastrous consequences, while teamwork, integrity and humility can guide us towards sustainable success. Let's remember these lessons as we navigate our professional journeys, building towers of success that stand tall, not due to pride or self-glory, but because of mutual respect, cooperation and ethical conduct. In times of hardship, the Tower of Babel narrative offers solace and guidance. It presents a timeless lesson about the value of humility, the importance of submitting to a power greater than our own, and the strength found in community support. Just like the people of Babel, we all face challenges that test our mental and physical well-being. We might find ourselves grappling with stress, anxiety, or physical ailments that seem insurmountable. But the Tower of Babel story reminds us that it is in acknowledging our limitations that we truly grow. When we submit to a higher power, be it God, the universe, or simply the natural laws that govern life, we open ourselves up to the support and guidance that surround us. And when we lean into our communities embracing the strength that comes from unity, we find that we are more resilient than we ever imagined. The story of Babel teaches us to navigate through tough times with resilience and faith, recognizing our limitations and seeking support when needed. The Tower of Babel, an ancient tale, holds timeless lessons for our modern world. It cautions us about the dangers of unchecked ambition and pride, encouraging us instead to foster unity and cooperation, grounded in shared values and respect. The story reminds us of the importance of humility, both in our family dynamics and professional pursuits. It teaches us to prioritize collaboration, integrity, and ethical conduct over personal glory, and to face challenges with resilience and faith. In the face of adversity, it offers solace, emphasizing the value of community support and submission to a higher power. This tale of an ancient tower and humanity's ambition serves as an allegory, resonating with various aspects of our life today. It is a timeless narrative, offering guidance and inspiration for all. May the story of the Tower of Babel continue to guide and inspire us in all aspects of life, reminding us of the importance of humility, unity, and reverence for God.